What is up guys, Minibean75 here, and today I'm back with another episode of Minecraft Creations. This, guys, is going to be the WWE Greatest Royal Rumble Arena, or technically a stadium. I apologize, guys, I haven't uploaded a video in a week. As you guys can tell, my voice is pretty jacked up. Um, I've been, I haven't recorded a video, obviously, because I've been sick. Um, I'm actually on my second day off of work because I've been sick, so it's been pretty rough, but I'm finally starting to feel a little bit better, so let's get into the video, guys. Here's what the stadium looks like. I think it looks absolutely awesome. This event took place at the King Abdullah Sports City Stadium in Saudi Arabia. This event, I think, was really good for the WWE to do something with Saudi Arabia. I know that was like a big deal that they wanted to do something, you know, and I think it was awesome. I think this event was actually better than WrestleMania, um, to be completely honest. It was a really good event. So, anyway, guys, let's take a look at the stage first. Here's what the stage setup looks like. It was kind of cool. Before WrestleMania, there were some um, reports of uh, the stadium actually being leaked, or the stage being leaked, and it ended up actually being this stage is what was leaked, but everybody thought it was for WrestleMania. So anyway, guys, first off, the stage part itself, you can actually see for the floor of the stage, um, we've got the top of what looks kind of like a star. Then we've got the big long ramp right there. Um, for the base part up here, it's black just because this is going off the base of what... Um, the stage setup looked like when they actually just started the pay-per-view so it was black then they kind of I went with like this wavy flag te uh, texture look with the green and the white on the, along the ramp then over here we've got the green stripe in the middle of the white there and then obviously you guys can see we've got the scaffolding all set up there's three rows of the uh, scaffolding in the back that make the half circle then in the front there's two half circles that cross in the center one goes one way one goes the other then in the back, we've got all these Titantron screens here. They're um, completely mirrored from the middle. So we've got one screen that goes like this that connects with that other one to bring it out to a point. Then we've got one that sticks out like this. And then a smaller one that sticks in like that. And we, like I said, we've got the same thing on the other side over there. And then over here, we've got a big screen that shows pretty much different things depending on what's going on with a ton of lighting fixtures along the top of it. And then all those different half circles have tons of lighting fixtures as well. So I think the stage looks absolutely awesome. Definitely let me know down below what you guys think of the stage. And then over here, we can take a look at the overhead ring lighting and all of that. This big awning and everything just looks awesome in my opinion. First off, as, as you guys can see, we've got all four poles. They've got the... Um, the uh, LED strips there with them, them with a little bit of the scaffolding. Very similar to, I believe this is how I did it for the uh, WrestleMania 31 um, with those poles like that. And then here uh, we've got just the big blank white awning. The awning actually said Greatest Royal Rumble on it. Um, but with half slabs in Minecraft, there was no way for me to actually be able to put Greatest Royal Rumble. So I kept it blank. And then inside, as you guys can see, we've got the four screens there. Those screens are going to be for people up in the nosebleeds to still be able to see what's going on in the ring because there are portions where you're not obviously not going to be able to see things or the people in the ring are just going to be so small that if you're in the nosebleeds, you're definitely going to want to be able to see the action on those. Um, and then above we've got the ring, we've got the big circular lighting fixture there. That's going to be very similar to what we usually have, but this isn't going to be for lighting the ring. This is going to be for more like special effects and things like that. We've got all those different lighting fixtures to do tons of different things um, throughout the show. Our actual ring lighting itself is actually going to be come off of the four big uh, light fixtures along the sides here. As you can see, we've got the dragon head set up for the big spotlights to actually you know shine on the ring. And then we've got all those lighting fixtures there for different special effects. And with this pay-per-view, I could have done, um, there were a couple different major um, matches. Obviously, I decided to go with the steel cage match. That was Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns in the steel cage match. But there was a casket match, a ladder match. I could have done a ton of different things. I decided to go with the steel cage just because I think it is what looks best. Um, otherwise, I would have had something else. But then we would have had the steel cage just tucked up in there and it wouldn't have looked as good. So... Anyway, guys, this is what the st uh, this stadium looks like. Let's head down, and we'll uh, flip the switch for the intro pyro for the show. So here we go. Obviously, as you guys can see, we've got the fireworks that are shooting off along those round circles in the front. Then we've got a couple rows shooting off in the back, followed by a huge cluster of fireworks in the front. Um, this is pretty close to what the actual fireworks setup was for this uh, show. Basically, it was just like that. Um, the only difference is I decided that I didn't want to put any fireworks shooting off along the top and around the top of the stage, or the stadium, I mean. I didn't do that because the draw distance in Minecraft isn't very far, so I mean, even being this far away, you, you, we're already losing um, some of the wither skulls. So I decided to not do that because otherwise 
you wouldn't be able to see if you have, if I did it that way, we wouldn't be able to see most of the fireworks anyway. So, um, other than that, guys, make sure you know, uh, let me know down below what you guys think of the stadium. Let me know what other arenas you guys want to see me make next, or if there's anything else you want to see me build in Minecraft. Um, I can build literally anything, guys. It doesn't have to just be wrestling arenas. So let me know that down below, or let me know if there's any other uh, games you want to see me make videos in, because I can definitely do that as well. And as always, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below. You have no idea how much that helps me out. If you want to see some exclusive time lapses and other exclusive content, guys, Make sure you head down in the description to my Patreon account. For literally as low as a dollar a month, you guys will get to see some awesome exclusive content that only the folks that help support me are going to get to see. And then you can take a look at my online store. That link is also going to be in the description. Get yourself some awesome Mini Bean 75 merchandise for a great price. Other than that, guys, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.